Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Lara Khoury, and for my eighth grade community project, I have chosen to work on a project named Give Small and Change Lives, because I believe that if each and every one of us gives in one small donation, we are all able to impact the lives of those in need. It all, it all started one evening. Sorry. Okay. It all started one evening when I was reading a novel named The Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald. I put the book down and noticed the great benefits of reading. I decided that I would, after completing this book, I would continue and uh, start another one and after that another one. As after I read each book, I noticed that my literacy skills developed greatly. I also noticed that we, the IAA secondary school students, have an endless supply of books in our school library. However, not many of us choose to take advantage of this privilege. On the other hand, there are many students, like the orphans of the Anjar Orphanage, which I choose to help out, help out, who do not have the supply of books. However, they are in desperate need of them due to two main reasons. Firstly, for entertainment, and secondly, to improve their learning experience and thus help them on in later life. This infuriated me, and I knew that I needed to make a change. Through a direct service by helping out by, t by helping out this orphanage, but bef before going on to before going on to the action phase, I decided to go through two phases. Firstly, investigation, and secondly, planning. From my investigation, I started by going down to the orphanage itself and talking to Father Hugo, the person who is in charge of the orphanage. I discussed with him my project and the reading level of the children there. I also sent out a survey to, to the privileged side of my community, asking them what they knew about the problem at hand. For the planning phase, I started off by creating collection boxes in order to collect the books. I created these pins in order to spread the word, and also created this poster, which would help tell people about my project. But before getting to my action phase, I had to create a proposal, proposal for action which would help me thoroughly plan out what I would do and what, uh, what action I would take. For my action, I placed the collection boxes in the reception and put the posters around the school and with the help of Ms. Rawan on Moodle in order for more people to see it. After reaching a maximum amount of donations which ended up being around 300 books, I went down to the orphanage and read a couple of books to the children. I tried to hook them into reading as much as possible. I also mingled with them slightly. Looking back at it, if you tell me what I'd improve, I would probably tell you that I would extend the time period for donation in order to reach a greater amount of books. I would also, next time, try to help various uh, organizations, not only this orphanage, and I would also help specifically this orphanage in creating a library as they are already in the process of doing so. However, I did not have the means and the time for doing that. And hopefully I would be able to do so in my 10th grade community project. Before concluding my presentation, I ask of each and every one of you for one simple favor. When you go home today, I want you all to indulge in a great book. Trust me, you won't regret it. Thank you. Thank you.